The state of Nevada is planning to execute a man his lawyers, attorneys, even a federal judge are questioning a lack of transparency. Zane Floyd killed four people more than 20 years ago, and today he appeared virtually from prison in a federal courtroom. No cameras allowed inside, but the I team's Vanessa Murphy was there and has more on what happened. This used to be Albertsons, and this is where Zane Floyd walked inside and killed four employees and injured another in 1999. Now, more than 20 years later, the state of Nevada is trying to execute him. There's not a whole lot I can say to the families. That was Zane Floyd more than 20 years ago. Now, while Nevada lawmakers are considering abolishing the death penalty, the state is trying to move forward with plans to execute Floyd. It's not yet final, but a date could be set for early June. The Nevada Department of Corrections, or NDOC, has released no details. A spokeswoman tells the I-team information will be released no less than seven days before the execution date. Floyd's defense team points out Floyd has a right to know which drugs will be used to kill him, and lawyers need time to review the plan. The Nevada Attorney General's office, which represents NDOC, argues if the names of the drugs are released, drug companies may sue to make sure their drugs aren't used for lethal injection. That's what happened in the case against Scott Dozier, the last inmate Nevada tried to execute. Federal Judge Richard Bulwer even questioned the lack of transparency Thursday and wants lawyers back in court Monday. The head of NDOC testified but revealed no information about the plan. Director Charles Daniels said he takes his duty to carry out the execution seriously and pointed out, quote, there is no do-over button, end quote. I can't take back what I've done. If there was any way I could, I would. And Judge Bulware asked several questions about why there is so much secrecy about the plan to execute Floyd. And we are potentially four weeks away from Nevada's first execution in about 15 years with no information released. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.